YouTube family. Hey, overcomers. Allergies have been beating me up for the last three days. It's why I wasn't able to do a video yesterday. But I have an obligation to uphold. To be an example of what an overcomer looks like. And Philippians 4.13 says, I can do anything through Christ which strengthens me. And through his grace and mercy, I am strengthened. So I ask that you be patient with me, have compassion for me, and I get through this video without trying, without sneezing, rubbing my eyes, sniffing a lot. So bear with me. You get the hint. Today's video is how do we overcome dark empathy? How do we overcome dark empathy? Now, what is this? What is dark empathy and how do you overcome it? But what is it though? It's cognitive weaponry. It's emotional distance. It's mischievous, sly, a manipulative tactic. It's Someone who pretends like they care about what you're going through. Dark empathy. Now, how do we overcome this? How do we overcome dark empathy? You see, the cause of dark empathy is unknown. It depends on the individual. You know, maybe it's their environment they're in or the environment they grew up in could be genetics. The jury is still out. These people uses their cognitive abilities to empathize with you just for personal gain. Dark empathy. Now, how do we overcome this? How do we overcome dark empathy? By calling in the question. This is how you overcome dark empathy is by calling it into question. Yeah. Examine the situation in order to protect yourself. This is how you overcome dark empathy. You want to cork it to prevent further damage in the future. This is how you overcome dark empathy and cut off their supply. Yeah. Limit how you interact with these people. What you say to them going forward, limit the supply. This is how you overcome dark empathy. You want to maintain a firm distance, you know, set some firm boundaries. This will keep you fresh and preserve your sense of self and self-esteem. This is how you overcome dark empathy. And don't apologize. Mm -mm. As you preserving yourself do not apologize for trying to make meaningful connections with these people yeah see these people are baseless and lack the ability to build a foundation of vulnerability and honesty i'll give you a story so my i lost my grandmother a few months back and it took a toll on my family yeah some of us are still grieving. Um, and then my grandmother on my father's side had a minor stroke. Another hit, right? And my grandmother who passed, daughter, which is my auntie, was very stressed. She ended up getting hospitalized, being overwhelmed with stress. Um, then I lost a cousin the next day hit after hit, right? So then I called up a lady friend. Well, she invited me to a coffee shop and catch up, see how I was doing. And we sitting there talking. I opened up about what, I, what I'm going through. Um, And I thought it was loving. So the next day, she invited me over Said, hey, I'm, I'm cooking some salmon, 
some vegetables. You want to come over and watch a movie? I'm like, all right. So as we watching the movie, I'm sitting there comfortable, you know, just at, at peace. And she invited me into her bed. And I said, no, I'm okay. And boy, <laughs> we never even got to why I didn't want to get into the bed. She just snaps and I calmly remove myself. So she left me all these long test, me test messages and saying things. And she spoke about what we talked about at the coffee shop. She said, literally, I don't care about those people who we was talking about. I was like, wow. All because she didn't get what she wanted from me. She started using my vulnerability and the information I gave her against me. This is why it's dark empathy. It's because I bought into the illusion that she cared about what I was going through. <laughs> you are her looking at an overcomer. This is what overcoming looks like. It looks like you. It looks like her. It looks like them. And it looks like him. Overcoming looks like you. So, yeah. Don't apologize because you tried to make loving connections and you moved on when you realized what they was up to. This is how you overcome dark empathy and find your center. Yeah. Keep a sense of humor as you find your center. Yeah. Know when to leave, I should say. This is how you overcome dark empathy. When you find your center, you will start noticing some exit strategies as you get away from these people with these red flags. You see, don't defend yourself. Don't explain yourself. They already showed you their true colors and the flags are alarming red. They are not pink. This is how you overcome dark empathy. You see, the red flags are not pink and Put yourself in your well-being first. Don't go tit for tat. Don't get competitive. Don't get disrespectful. Just calmly and respectfully remove yourself from the situation. And rejoice. Yeah. Rejoice in the fact that you have found your center and it's intact. This is how you overcome dark empathy. Look, overcomers. Look on the bright side. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. And carry each other's burdens. In a way, you will fulfill the will of Christ. Overcomers, find your village. Find your tribe. And have, and have compassion for yourself and others. High five. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Peace.